Hey guys, welcome to Automotors Technica and in this video I have brought a phenomenal addition to my interceptor which is the triple navigation pod of Meteor which I'm going to fit it on my interceptor between two clocks on the instrument panel cluster. Now what happens here is the pod is uh, supplied by Royal Enfield which I got it from McLean Motors. I got that at the right time I intercepted and now this uh, part is not available um, it's like a scarce in the stock and um, at that time I got it somehow and this cost around approximately 5200 then and now it might have changed uh, yeah so this is the only stuff which I got it from Royal Enfield which is a genuine accessory and now uh, the other part which I required is nothing but a wiring loom of 6 pin which needs to be connected to this and the two bolts that these are uh, rest of the stuff are uh, provided by Akhtar Bhai who is a, also known as 786 rider he's a good friend of mine from Mumbai and he said uh, he's going to provide this kind of accessories and at a nominal price uh, the price might change uh, you can uh, contact him on uh, seven our customs his channel and uh, yeah so this happens to be a um, female a socket and a male socket which is nothing but acts as a bypass uh, power supply which is coming out from the ignition uh, from the dome of the headlight and there is one uh, auxiliary port which is to be connected uh, that connection I'm going to show you in the coming video so here is the six pin which goes to the uh, tripper navigation pod now what happens here is there are two things uh, this sits between the two ports of the two uh, bolts on the uh, panel and here these uh, elliptical grooves are for uh, the navigation so it sits in this way now coming back uh, these are the two allen keys are also supplied by Akhtar Bhai and uh, to talk about Akhtar Bhai he is uh, a rider a uh, peacemaker and he has got a portal that is 7R Customs and he is also having a motorcycle club in Mumbai and uh, he has got bike accessories and he's got a shop in Mumbai that is uh, bike accessories and helmets and he also makes a lot of uh, uh, saddle stays for all type of bikes so that is uh, his passion and he's also a right will come peacemaker so that is his introduction a good uh, a friend of uh, mine in the biking riding circle well I'm going to show you how uh, this can be fitted on my interceptor in the coming video stay tuned so do you really need a triple navigation pod on interceptor uh, if I say yes uh, what you have is only the twin uh, clock one is the auto with trip and uh, the speed and the second one is uh, the, uh, the rpm and now uh, if you add this in between the two on top of it uh, you will have a navigation which is connected to your phone through bluetooth and the second thing is it will show you the clock the time so that is which is uh, why makes me to utilize this pod on my interceptor so i was looking for several clocks and they were like kind of a sticking or kind of a ln key bolted and they were looking shabby so this is genuine accessory from uh, royal enfield and i thought this will be the right approach to have a time as well as the triple navigation that completes the setup on the bike so guys to fit uh, this clamp for the trip meter uh, you have to open the visor uh, the front door and uh, you have to loosen the four bolts and uh, this material will come up so ensure that there is a washer here this washer the four washers you have to keep it safely otherwise it will fall down so once you remove this in the two grooves above so from here you have to insert this uh, bracket after removing the meter and this you need to slowly fasten up with a console at the center so this happens to be the clamp so guys this black uh, female and uh, this black male were in a series now what i did is i removed this and put the supplied wire here 
and the other one will bypass to here so that the power has been tapped uh, for uh, to this uh, wire to the trip navigation i'm going to connect this to back to this so there is no change it's just like a plug and play earlier this socket was with connected to this black now i have connected this supplied socket and from here the other end will go into the same so there is no change or wire cut so guys there is an auxiliary port here yellow color and uh, with the supplied cable you have to connect this made into the aux port so this has been bypassed the black and black is removed and white and white that is male and female have been just bypassed and uh, what we are going to get is this wire which is nothing but from the auxiliary port which you have to connect it into the yellow color of the aux port and the remaining one the thin wire which goes to the pod that should be from the behind the hole it will come up and from this you have to push it into the meter so guys this wire has come out from here from the back side and this should be passed from here so that it can be connected to the tripper navigation pod and it should be mounted using the allen keys onto this grooves so guys the connection has been done and i just putting the pod without the screws just to test it so this is how it looks and uh, let me fire up yeah it is coming up that's great built with google and version is 7.0 something i saw it yeah it's that's a time now if i uh switch off and switch it on you should show the same because the zero two minutes is because i just took two minutes after connecting it so 7.05 is the version this is the time i will set it later so let me uh, bolt it up so guys here is the final view and uh, after fitting the visor it looks like this yeah so this is the one uh, that should be a small uh, uh, two-sided tape behind the, the pod and the visor otherwise it will touch it so that's the workaround I have done it and it looks okay yeah so that's one and I'm going to install the RE app and uh, sync up with this uh, navigation pod soon so now it's time to set up uh, the trip meter with uh, the phone and the navigation app uh, from Royal Enfield. So there's an app here that is Royal Enfield and uh, that you have to download from either iOS or for Android it is from Play Store. And uh, so here I have uh, fired up and this has started. This is an old time that is 2353 but the actual time is uh, 0028. I'm going to start this app. So once you start the app let it uh, come up and uh, you have to uh, this bike issue because i have entered my details that is uh, uh, the number and uh, the login details for the bike and uh, once you register with re then start with the navigate button and click here so there is a helmet icon here this helmet icon you have to uh, click it and once you click the hel helmet uh, icon uh, yeah the uh, it'll ask you for the password so let's click this uh, <coughs> so now it shows uh, about the permissions so permissions will be to add to the devices and so on so location access is done while using the app and so on so to remove permission for free i'm just this fine so now uh, this is what it is location permission not granted you have to give the location permissions <coughs> it requires allow every time so that's uh, starting now and yeah so click this helmet app and you have the re display so re underscore disp is the the pod here this is the part so when i click the re display so you have this particular number that is three six seven 
922 so i'm going to enter here Three six seven nine double two. Say done and then connect. So this has been connected. So device is authorized and uh, you have the tripper uh, already been connected. So now this is the actual time. It is syncing up with the phone time. That is zero zero three zero, and here it is zero zero three zero. Now coming to this uh, location, if I want to go to say. Chik Tirupati. Then I'll get the directions here. And now, when I say the navigate button, it'll show me the directions. Okay, so it's turn by turn navigation at 20 meters. I have to take a right, and next is 10.8 kilometers. I have to take another right, and so on. So that's guys, I think uh, I have set everything and need to put the visor and connect the headlight dome and I am done. So if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel Automotors Technica, uh, push the thumbs up button and uh, do comment and uh, that will motivate me to uh, make such more videos and stay blessed.